Hello? This is the closest thing to a selfie that you're going to get. Today we're going to talk about transistor operation, saturation and cutoff, and we're going to explain it using the bathroom sink. Okay, we'll use the hot water because I've noticed that the hot water seems to work better for this demonstration. I'm not sure why, uh, but the, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the knob here and we're going to turn the hot water on and we're going to do it really slowly and we watch what happens. As we turn the knob, it takes a little while for the water to start flowing. You see the water down there? There's a area where nothing happens. Okay? The only thing moving the knob backwards in that area means to the to the limit means is that we're going to have to put more energy in the system in order to make the water flow because we're going to have to move this uh, lever just a little bit further to make it happen. When we are able to shut the water completely off, we refer to that as cutoff. When we talk about transistors, uh, cutoff means the lack of current flow through the transistor. Uh, transistor really is nothing more than a valve. We, we control it with current going into the base, but it's a valve nonetheless, so we can kind of represent that here. Um, it's going to make some noise, so I'm going to explain it beforehand, but we're going to see the same thing at the other end of its travel when we turn turn the knob all the way over this way uh, we're going to see that the water is going to increase for every degree of motion here uh, I'm going to get a commensurate increase in the amount of water that comes out of the out of the spigot here so when I get all the way up to this point you'll see there's a time when the noise doesn't change out of the spigot which means we're not moving any more water so let's turn this up and we'll see Right in here, there's no change in the amount of water coming out. Otherwise, you'd be able to hear it. Listen. So we reach a point where the valve is letting as much water as the system will allow to flow through it. And we have to realize at that point that like the transistor, the, uh, the, the, the spigot here, the faucet, is a slave to the incoming pipes that are coming in from the house. Uh, the diameter of those pipes and the pressure, the water pressure, which is analogous to voltage, uh, tells us how fast the water is going to come out of that pipe. So even though I turn turn this knob on all the way, uh, even though there's a maximum diameter of the pipe letting the water through, if that diameter is more than the more than the pipe that's coming in to feed the spigot, uh, then you're going to be wasting that extra diameter. Uh, when we get the water all the way on, like this. Uh, refer, we refer to that as saturation, as much current as possible, we have as much flow as possible. Um, again, the, the uh, valve is a slave to the, to the supply as the transistor is a slave to the resistors in the circuit. Uh, so here we have a basic model of how a transistor works. Uh, we're using the energy in our hand to move the knob, but uh, in a transistor, of course, it's the base voltage that does it. We have cutoff and a range. Here we can actually move a little bit. We have the same thing with the transistor. It's about seven tenths of a volt. Uh, up here, when we get to the point where our diameter is maxed out, uh, we have saturation. Okay, so every time you uh, every time you wash your hands after you pee or poop, you'll think about transistors, and that's a good thing. Later.